few days back, I had made a video on an open source computer use alternative called browser use, where it is capable of doing anything that computer use can do, but even better with the ability to connect your AI agents with the browser and can automate any web-based tasks quite easily, like clicking icons, executing web-based tasks, and so much more. For example, here is a demo where someone is trying to create a letter in Google Docs and this is essentially where it's going to then save it as a PDF. But this is all being done with the help of browser use and it's capable of executing this task within a couple of seconds. You may be thinking, why not just use Anthropic's computer use? Well, the reason why I wouldn't use that and I would basically use browser use over that is because of the web agent accuracy benchmark. It showcases that browser use is exceptionally well in comparison to many of these other sorts of web-based agents like computer use or agent e or even runner h this new framework is easily able to surpass many of those other frameworks in terms of its accuracy of performing web-based tasks and just this week they introduced a new addition to their suite of tools called web ui this is a user-friendly interface built on Gradio and it enhances the browser use project, which allows you to seamlessly interact with AI agents on any website. It supports a variety of different large language models, which is where we're going to be using the DeepSeek version 3 model. And you can also have custom browsers while offering features like persistent sessions and high definition screen recording. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Scrimba, an innovative and interactive coding platform. Whether you're a beginner just starting out or an experienced developer, Scrimba is designed to help users of all experience levels improve their coding skills. What sets Scrimba apart is its interactive learning experience. In every lesson, you can directly edit the teacher's code as Scrimba combines a video-like learning experience and a code editor into one. This hands-on approach is a powerful and fun way to learn and master your programming skills. You can explore Scrimba's diverse courses such as JavaScript, Python, HTML, and CSS while working on real projects at the same time to build a robust portfolio. Something I can highly recommend for all of you AI enthusiasts is Scrimba's new AI engineering path, one of the most in-demand developer capabilities for 2024. This 10 hour long crash course has been created in collaboration with leaders in the AI space including Langchain and Hugging Face. It covers all the essential skills at the cutting edge of this fast changing space and it is designed to help you start building apps powered by generative AI. But that's basically it for Scrimba. Scrimba offers over 60 free and paid courses accessible with the pro subscription. Use my link in the description below to get an additional 30% off for the pro plans. Now to get started, there's two ways to actually install this. You have the local installation method, which is the one that we're going to be showcasing. And then you have the Docker installation method. This is actually a bit easier, but many people tend to have troubles with Docker, which is why I'm going to be showcasing the first method. I'll leave both links in the description below to install both of the requirements. But essentially, if you're going to be following through with option one, you need to make sure that you have Python installed. Uh, you need to make sure you have UV installed as well as Git. And once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, you can head back into this GitHub repository. What I want you guys to do first is scroll all the way to the top, click on this green button, copy this repository link, scroll back down to this option one. Now, what you want to do is open up your command prompt. Once you have opened it up, type in git clone, paste in the link. Once it has finished cloning, get into the web UI directory by typing in CD web UI. Once you are here, you're going to need to start off by create a Python virtual environment. So go ahead and paste this in. Once it has created the virtual environment, you can then activate it with the source command. So now that I have activated this, what we can do is install all the necessary dependencies. But before we even install this dependency for web UI, we're going to need to install browser use. So we're going to make sure that we copy this. And uh, what we're going to do is paste this within this command prompt. So we're going to install browser use. If you do not have it already, make sure you do this step. And once you have installed this, we can go back into this GitHub repository and we can go ahead and we can install the dependencies for web UI. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in and this will now start installing the requirements for the web UI. And after that is complete, we'll need to install Playwright. So after all of this is complete, we'll then be 
uh, requested to set our environment variables and that should be it and we can then easily start up within our web ui it's super simple guys and it's super easy now to set your environment variables i'm gonna use an id such as visual studio code i'm gonna go over to this env file we're gonna click right click on it we're gonna then rename it and we're gonna get rid of this dot example once that is done you can go ahead and set your api key for open ai anthropic google as well as deep seek now this is what we're going to be using in today's case and what i recommend you do is go over to hyperbolic and get a free uh ten dollar credit that you can use with uh browser use and the reason why is because it is something that you can get completely for free and you won't even run out for a long period of time because the deep seek uh, api costage for running the computer use is super cheap and i definitely recommend that you use this option over any of the other ones because this is going to be really cheap for you and it's completely for free for you to access so go over to hyperbolic and definitely register and you can easily paste this in and change the endpoint url and you can easily go ahead and then click on save and then you can start up web ui now that you have installed everything and set your api keys go over to the usage section of this repo and what you want to do is copy this python command to start up your web ui so we're going to go ahead and paste this in and it's going to start it up within our local host with the port 7788 so within a couple seconds we can then have it opened up within our local host and looks like it has started up now and what you can do now is start utilizing browser use with the configuration of the DeepSeek model which is completed for free and now you have a simple web ui with a really nice interface for you to do almost anything where you can instruct ai agents to automate any web-based task within the agent section you can have it so that you can select a different type of agent you can have your org agent or a custom agent you can have it so that it runs through multiple steps and you can even gatekeep the amount of steps that it could basically perform within the lm configuration tab you can set your api keys as well from here from Anthropic, like uh, like I mentioned before, as well as Olama models, which is also really unique. Now, within the browser settings, you can configure the window, uh, like I would say, width. You have the recording path, the trace path. You have the ability to then run your agents within this section, and you will get your results over here with the recording of what is happening. And you can then access your recordings on the last page. But now, what we're going to be doing is having a request to go over to the Google. Uh, website and then type in OpenAI and click search and give us the first URL. So let's see if this is functional and let's see what it's capable of doing. So let's click on run agent and you can see that it is starting off by opening up this browser and it's going to go over to Google and search up the OpenAI company name and it's going to then help us execute our task and giving us the ability to click on the first link. So you can see it is doing a great job by typing in OpenAI and it's going to then Google search and then it's going to click on this first link. So you can see that this is something that it is executing with the DeepSeek API, which we access from Hyperbolic completely for free. And this is the capability that you get of automating almost anything with this new uh, browser agent. And like I said, if you go over to the recording tab, you will see a preview of what it had done in terms of accomplishing your tasks, searching up OpenAI. And afterwards, you can go ahead and you can even download this recording. I'm going to have it find me the latest news article on AI. And I want to see if it's capable of going over to that news article and clicking on it. So you can see right away, it is super fast in doing this. And you can see right now, it is searching for the latest AI advancements. And it's going to go ahead and click on the news article that it finds the most interesting. Now, it looks like it clicked on this one, but it can't reach this because it is not available so it noticed that and it's going to go back and find a better option so you can clearly see that this is an intelligent ai agent capable of executing various tasks for you in this case it found this article and it's going to keep on finding the best latest advancement this is for the date january 9th today is january 10th so it was able to find the latest article and this is the capability that you get with browser use with the deep seek model within this beautiful web ui which allows you to easily interact with your ai agents to automate anything and the great part is is that this is completely free and you can easily access this right now 
Huge props to the browser use team for continuously working on developing this platform even further. It is the best performing AI agent that's available. And especially with this web UI, it is a game changer. So I definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please turn on the notification bell as I'm going to be continuously posting different AI videos so that you can definitely learn a lot more and grow within this space. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.